Hey everybody, revert to means, back again, it's Jared. Wednesday, May 12, it is 12 p.m. noon Pacific time here in Oxnard at The Collection. A uh, large uh, shopping mall, not really a shopping mall, I guess, it's just kind of like a Westfield shopping center, you know, ton of stores. This place was built about, I want to say, eight, eight, nine years ago. Approximately, I've lived here about 12 um, in the greater uh, Ventura, Oxnard area. A uh, little history. Oxnard is the largest, uh, the biggest, largest, uh, most populated city in Ventura County. Big city. Um, interesting fact, too. About a mile, two miles from here uh, is where the Dallas Cowboys... I don't know, you know, with the pandemic lately, but the, the Cowboys, the NFL football team, used to have their um, their spring training practice back behind me about a couple miles over at River Ridge Golf Course. But um, I don't know if they're still doing that. The Rams were doing it for a while. I don't know what happened. Um, I kind of stopped. I didn't stop, but following sports after uh, <coughs> time. But follow me along. I'm going to walk around. Driving in, I saw some stuff. Uh, pretty crazy. I haven't been in here in about two or three years. Uh, can't, you used to come here every so often to eat uh, when I was a married man. But I'm going to show you some stuff. There are a lot of empty stores. I just drove by a Coca-Cola bottling factory um, in between Ventura and Oxnard. Drive by there all the time. Uh, usually daily on the highway for my business. Uh, but yeah, Coca-Cola bot bottling plant in my 12 years living here, they had a big old sign. It's right off the 101 going northbound. Uh, now hiring, you know, help wanted. Sign of the times. Follow me along. While you're at it, subscribe. Share with your friends and family. Hit the uh, bell notification. I got new fresh stuff coming out all the time. Yeah, I just saw the, uh, the Dow Jones too down over 500 at about 5 to noon here. Uh, forgot to mention early, earlier video this morning. Check out uh, just a tip. Once again, not financial advice. Uh, I've always had the, the VIX, V-I-X index on my ticker on my cell phone. It's a volatility index. It is up, as of 5 minutes ago, it was up uh, just over 21%. So That's big. Things are very volatile in a lot of markets so be careful here we go all right just into the uh, collection it's kind of an outdoor mall basically sign of the times the whole sign everywhere for lease right behind me uh, saw the signage around the corner I it, I had never ate here I believe it used to be it, it's just some it's a restaurant Bar grill. Closed. Big. Big, uh... What was it? It's got the sign up there. That's seafood and bar. As I mentioned, I haven't been here. Yeah, gosh, it's got to be three years, but there's a lot. I don't know what this was. No signage, different business. And not too many people walking around either. Just afternoon. Release everywhere. Bands, bands is good. Open. I did just read. The founder of Vans Shoes actually um, passed away down in Costa Mesa, Orange County, California, last week. Uh, Family-owned business. So it's kind of a cool story. Elevator going up. 
it's ironic when I pulled in this place is very large you know it's got the targets the Whole Foods the H&M's and the REI those are about the staples and they're busy everybody seems to be going there but fairly empty yes it is a Wednesday but fairly empty stay tuned this is part of where I just was um, back over there I don't know if you can see it's kind of shadowy but uh, it was I was on the other side around there and I walked around kind of the service area and it's that same the first clip here out of the parking lot it's the same one same restaurant it's it's, it's huge uh, nothing up top it's, it all got removed pretty sad you know what I ate here years ago with uh, with some friends it is Maria's I don't know if you can see that it was a Italian kitchen locked sad huge place uh, I'm gonna keep going though. I want to see if a couple places down here, Yard House, and there was a Korean barbecue. I want to see if they're still around. We'll find out. The last studio is open. Nobody in there. Check this out, guys. Everywhere. Big, big, just for lease signs. Everywhere. These things. This thing is. Uh, I'm. I'm six foot three. This thing's. 10 foot, 10 foot tall by 6 feet wide for leaves everywhere. Uh, 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 uh. Kabuki is open, good. Very good food, eating there a handful of times. And then Jen Korean Barbecue back there was open. Uh, hit the like button. Comment down below, everybody. What are you seeing in your areas? Really like to share. I know uh, Jeremiah Babe, who I follow, followed for quite some time. He hits uh, hits the streets. So does Dan at I allegedly. Comment down below. What are you guys seeing in your area? It's pretty bad here. Um, yeah, like to share info. Agree, disagree, comment. Let us know. Now I know. Uh, I kind of feel like with, uh, Jeremiah Babe and. Dan that I allegedly did a couple weekends ago out in Palm, in the Palm Springs, Palm Desert area. <laughs> it's overcast. It's 12:15 here on Wednesday, May 12. It's probably 60, low 60s overcast. However, I feel like I'm in the desert out in Palm Springs, and it would be 110 degrees. They got the mu outdoor music playing here on the walkways, but nobody's in the. Uh, There are people out and about, don't get me wrong, but uh, I just walked by this threading studio and places are open, but there, there's nobody in them, except a couple workers. I'm back, crossing the uh, little street here. Another one. This one is taking up the whole size of a building. Let me check this out. I know I, uh, made a comment the other day, kind of chuckled, but here's truth in writing. Uh, Windsor, I don't know, clothing store, but this is all, see these? I said mannequins a few videos ago. We're all in the stores, where, I forget where I was. If those are considered shoppers, ain't it? it's doing good, we've got a booming economy, right? Urban Outfitters, open, but nobody. I, I poked my head in there. More mannequins, that's it. Quick observation, little store here called It's Sugar. It's open, it's a candy store, full of candy. Actually went in there, I'm not a big sweets guy, but pretty cool, a lot of interesting kind of off the wall stuff, but hey, it's called It's Sugar. I've always known this, uh, ladies and gents. Sorry if I say that all the time, but I'm learning, I'm new to this. Be patient with me, bear with me. Um, in bad times, usually sugar does well. People, the commodity itself does well. 
but um, bad times, people like sugar, they like tobacco, they like alcohol. It's all doing good in this uh, bad economy and where we're headed, it's gonna be even uglier. But this is the shocking thing. There's nobody in there. There's one guy working in there. No kids, no nothing. And then on the flip side, in good times, people like their sugar too, you know, makes them feel good, right? Odd. I'll keep going. Right next door to its sugar is Afters ice cream shop. Pretty empty in there. The doors are closed. There's a lockbox on there. Maybe showing it to potential tenants, but I noticed they got a small hall, small little sign right there. Temporary hours. I think a lot of places are doing that. Maybe, um, I don't know, just my opinion. Uh, might be on their last kind of legs. Seeing a lockbox on there, seeing yesterday temporary gas shut off, turn back on. Uh, that's odd at the site. Just observing. Lockbox on there, probably showing it to potential tenants, or uh, I don't know how there's potential tenants out there. Who would want to lease? These places are not cheap, right next door. Empty. Empty. It's not cheap rent, folks. This is a large place. Every directory in this mall, this is the, besides all the empty storefronts with huge, um, huge for lease uh, signage, these are just all the directories you'd see in a mall. For lease, for lease, for lease, everywhere. Comment down below. What are you guys seeing in your area? Share some ideas. Thank you. Right where I showed you that, I'm walking. I was just at that directory right there. This is this is crazy. This is most of the big places I've seen. Uh, the, you know the targets, the the yard house, uh, Jen, Grand Barbecue. They're open. Levity Live, the comedy club, is actually behind me uh, over there. I believe they're still open, maybe starting to do some slow shows, but right next to Levity Live, the comedy club, is, I was reading the sign, it's called Copper, Copper Blues, Rock, Pub, and Kitchen. I don't know if they're not open yet, I'm going to go walk by the door, but outdoor dining, outdoor patio is empty, it's almost 12.30. Uh, looks kind of closed but I don't know we'll see bear with me all right I walked around the side to this uh, copper rock pub and kitchen next to levity live the comedy club uh, I don't live in this area so if anybody sees this let me know I walked up here to their doors everything's locked a few lights on in there but I peeked in there and it's pretty pretty empty it looks kind of a little bit in disarray I'm not sure you know maybe they don't open until uh, Levity Live the comedy club opens I, I don't know but there's there's no signs at all you know hours looks like there were stuff tape scotch taped up here like you know social uh, distancing etc so forth I don't know. Send us a comment. What do you guys know? Just walking by this place uh, kind of made me smile. We could all use uh, more of this during these times, right? The store is called Love and Hope. It's a little uh, gift shop. It's open. Actually, there were people in there. Not many shopping, but uh, Love and Hope. Kind of bummer as I just walked by. There's a barber shop right here. It's just called the barber shop. Doors are open. A lot of chairs and maybe a dozen. I don't know, ten to a dozen barber ch chairs in there. Two people working in there. One guy in the chair. That sucks. Because I know that rent is not cheap. You can't. How are you gonna pay pay rent when you have a one guy? I mean, I don't know if it's busier in the afternoon. Obviously, hopefully on the weekends, but. Um, it's 12.31. I've seen a lot of police officers in here. I don't know what's up with that, but... Uh, odd. Speaking of that, I'm just uh, walking back. 
making my way back towards my truck. I'm gonna try and go down one other, uh, one of the other little crisscross streets with other stores. I just, I remember bringing up all the police I've seen in here. Um, there's two, in the last two days, uh, I know JB has talked about it, crime, I've talked about it a few videos ago, you know, our social, our, our social culture is also crumbling. JB mentioned it yesterday, Dan has the Dodger game fights. I haven't been to a Dodger game since I was a teenager, probably never will, because that all started happening. It started happening during normal good times, so imagine, you know, people are all wound up and throwing fists and can't even relax at a uh, ball game unreal so what i'm getting at i see as i'm walking here all the police officer motorcycles city of oxnard god bless them uh san Lu up in san luis obispo two days ago very quaint uh seaside coastal town about two hours north of me a uh, police officer got killed and that rarely happens up there uh, yeah, it was pr pretty sad. And then, where was the other one? Stockton. Just this morning I read about. And Stockton, you know, has had its share of trouble and turmoil, but I don't know. It's, it's a bummer to see just people, I think, in my opinion, once again, not, not financial, personal, moral, business, economic advice, but people are unraveling, and it's only going to get worse. Um, imagine when people are out of money I think that's what what's leading into this you know just stress 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 and it's it really stinks and it shows you what what could happen if it gets worse um, pray for our country pray for our, our fellow citizens our friends our neighbors you know <sighs> but man I live in it's I'm walking down the sidewalk and I feel like I don't know, I said it before, but not too many people around. One more stop. All right, gonna wrap it up. Revert to means. Jared again, uh, just almost to my truck. Check this out, H&M. Humongous, right? I'm walking by the back entrance here, and then it's gonna wrap all the way around huge store I can't even comprehend the square feet but I'm peeking peeking through the windows here a lot of mannequins I see some young young ladies shuffling around clothes um, maybe one maybe a shop I don't know what I see maybe a shop or two or workers came around that corner I thought I saw a couple people going in the main entrance, but I don't know. I wish my phone could capture that I just walked around the corner. Oh, that's okay. H&M stops there. Forever 21 here. Let's, let's take a peek inside see if there's anybody shopping then i'll uh wrap her up oh yeah you know there are a couple in there a couple shoppers in there booming economy right <laughs> bubkiss comment below not trying to be a smart aleck but Seeing it how I see it. Comment below. What are you guys seeing? What do you think about this? Is our economy booming? No inflation? Use your mind. Think for yourself. Don't listen to the um, mainstream media all the time. It's not true. Do the opposite. It's kind of what I've done in a, over the years and it works. Take care. Stay tuned, I got some more stuff coming. Be well. Give a smile to somebody you see. Have a blessed day. God bless.